Hi, welcome to Total Training for Adobe Acrobat 10 Pro Essentials. My name is Jim Maywald, and I'm an Adobe Certified Expert and instructor in several Adobe products, including Acrobat. I've been using Acrobat since the release of version one in the early 90s, and I've been teaching courses and conducting seminars around the country in Acrobat for the last five years. I can tell you without a doubt that this is the best version of Acrobat ever. In the course of this training, we'll explore many of the essential features and capabilities of this remarkable application. You'll learn how to create and optimize PDF documents from a variety of applications and learn how to access the more advanced functionality of the program to add security, build interactive forms, and even create full screen presentations. Acrobat has gone through a major redesign for version 10 and many experienced users may be surprised by the changes to the program. But I'm sure that once you've seen how Adobe has simplified and improved the tools and interface, you'll be as impressed as I am. In this first chapter, we'll explore the new and improved Acrobat interface. So let's get started. Let's start by taking a quick tour of the Acrobat 10 interface. You can start Acrobat by double-clicking on the icon on your desktop. Or if you don't see an icon, you can select the Acrobat shortcut from your Start menu or from the Applications folder on a Macintosh. Whenever you launch Acrobat 10, you will be greeted by the Welcome screen. Here you can access a list of recent PDF files or simply begin creating new PDF documents, portfolios, forms, or begin sharing existing files with friends and colleagues. If you don't see this option, you're probably on a Macintosh and you won't be able to see the toolbars at the top of the document window or access the Send Now capabilities until you have a document open. If you are an experienced user of Acrobat, the first time you fire up Acrobat 10, you will see a whole new streamlined interface. Many of your favorite tools have been moved or redesigned. But whether you are an experienced or new user of Acrobat, all in all, you'll find the redesigned interface efficient and easy to use, although it may take you a little time to adjust to it. To get a full appreciation of the new interface, you first need to create a PDF file or open an existing one. For this exercise, let's open interfacetour.pdf in the Chapter 1 folder. Select the File menu and click Open. Now navigate to the folder where you copied the exercise files. On my computer, I copied the files to the desktop. Double-click on the Projects file to open it and then enter Chapter 1. To open Interface Tour, you can double-click on the icon, or select it, and click Open. Here you see the default workspace, pared down by Adobe to a few essential tools and panels. Most prominent is the Create button, which contains the various methods for creating PDF documents. We'll explore these options fully in Chapter 2. Next to the Create button, you may recognize the default icons for opening, saving, printing, and sharing PDF documents. But then we come to a new button, one that may become your absolute favorite, Customize Quick Tools. By clicking this icon, you can customize your Acrobat interface to show the specific set of quick tools that you use most frequently. You no longer have to waste half the screen on tools that you never use. We'll take a look at this tool in more depth later in this chapter. Not all the familiar tools have been hidden away, you may recognize the redesigned icons for sticky notes and text highlighting, as well as the tools for deleting, rotating, and inserting pages. Similarly, you will see icons for moving back and forth through multi-page documents. Click the down arrow to move through the document, the up arrow to move back to the beginning. The text select tool to select text the grabber hand to scroll pages, and the zoom tools to zoom out, zoom in, or to select your favorite zoom factor, as well as icons to fit the width of the document or the entire page. We'll explore all these tools later in this chapter. Along the left edge of the screen appear other familiar tools such as page thumbnails, which make it easy to navigate through your document. Bookmarks. 
attachments, and signatures. These tools and panels appear and work much as they did in previous versions of Acrobat. But the big changes are over here on the right side of the screen, where the old hodgepodge of tools and icons have been carefully grouped in sets of new panels where the tools will be easy to identify for the experienced users and easier to discover for the new users. As you can see, the tools have been grouped under three main categories. You can click on the name to reveal the panel. Tools, Comment, and Share. I hope you've enjoyed this quick tour of the new Acrobat 10 interface. Feel free to view each movie in turn or jump right to the chapter and topic that most interests you. Either way, you'll be learning how to get the most out of the new version of this powerful program.